So I'm just making a quick one. <clears throat> I'm officially on my way to Kant. I uh, just had to speak with a preacher uh, called Ken that I had met in town when I was homeless. Really nice guy. Just coincidentally, he said he felt he needed to message me on this day. Turns out it was the day of the court date. And uh, he was also asking for, uh, for me to pray for his wife because uh, she's taken a, a turn for the worst and they don't quite know what it is yet in the past week. So I, I said to him, of course, I immediately got off the phone and immediately prayed for him. And I hope you all will too. Really nice guy. Uh, looked after me really well. Was very compassionate. And to the friends that I brought to him and um, that I've helped in the past effectively kick their drug habits, stop them from being homeless. It's been really accommodating to them as well. However, this video that I wanted to make very briefly, while I have a cigarette before I go, uh, was just to say my solicitor had applied with the Crown Prosecution Service again to get access to the entirety of the body cam footage again that they've refused to give us, nor supplied us with a list of the unused evidence from which we can pick what we wish to use uh, that would be relevant to our defense. My solicitor walked over to the court building this morning to speak to that prosecutor. I know this never works well when I'm smoking on camera. I like this, by the way, court swagger. I'll put a picture up of the full thing. It looks a bit uh, baggy because I have to be hunched over in this thing. Because it got broken into, you're going to notice this thing just caves in further and further. It's going to look like I'm wearing fucking Ku Klux Klan hat by the end of these vids. So we walked over to the courthouse and asked them uh, whether we could finally see the entirety of the body cam footage today before court. And the Crown Prosecution Service alerted us to the fact that they themselves do not even have, have not even seen the entirety of the body cam footage. Of the male police officer. Uh who is alleging that I intimidated, harassed, effectively gave him PTSD from uh, my interaction with him, the interaction in which he called me an asshole and threatened to break uh, personal property of mine, the most sacred religious icon to the Christian faith worldwide. So just to wrap that up into a nice little bow for you, Cheshire Constabulary haven't even provided the entirety of the evidence that they hold in the palm of their hands, in their sweaty little hands, to the people who are supposed to be using said evidence to prosecute other people, myself included in this situation. Which really should tell you exactly how much, at this point, Cheshire Constabulary, or this one police officer, this one Peluche in particular, is actually fearful of what is on that body cam footage. And I'm beginning to think, is there something I've forgotten because I was still pretty drunk that morning when it happened from the night before. Has he done something else that I've completely forgotten about that is so much worse that would make him look so bad, potentially even get him fired? Cheshire Constabulary, what are you doing? What are you doing? You aren't even providing the evidence to your own prosecution team. You are picking the poo out of your own winnets and eating it thinking that nobody is looking. We've got you. We've fucking busted you on every single turn. This, again, this just goes to show you Cheshire Constabulary won't even work with the Crown Prosecution Service in fear of what might come to light that Cheshire Constabulary have done, committed. I will use the word committed because they have committed offenses, uh, many offenses here. So I still have a few other things to do before I just chuck a bag with a friend and then head off to court. Likely to get adjourned today, I assume. If not, I know what I intend to do in court. <sighs> God bless all of you. I don't want to ramble on this video. I want to finish my cigarette in peace and, and be gone. Because I just, I want to see this. I want to see this clown show, this circus show roll out. Quite frankly, I wish I could live stream it to all of you as well. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. Uh, incoming a picture of me in full court swagger. Hope you enjoy, ladies and fellas. So I just wanted to make one more point of grievance against this officer. I'm just curious as the reason that he has not submitted the entirety of his body cam footage to the actual lawyers who would then actually be able to go through it and charge appropriately with the appropriate evidence is the reason that he is taking this upon himself perchance for the fact that he has deleted uh, any of the other quote-unquote relevant evidence. Obviously my solicitor and I know from the file names that there is at least one clip that has been removed from evidence uh, and clearly not by the prosecution service because they've never had full access to it it has been selectively edited by the Peluche so yes this officer has he perhaps 
entirely deleted some of the offences that he committed. And that's why the Crown, the Crown Prosecution Service has never actually received the entirety of the evidence themselves. Naturally, the Crown Prosecution Service could also be lying, however. I would like to think that lawyers have a bit more respect for the actual letter of the law than the fucking grunt people, the henchmen, that get off on a power trip by claiming to enact the law while secretly just wanting the power that comes with it. The alleged power, the perception of power. Well, I don't know. It would be nice to see exactly what has been altered, edited, or removed from the body cam footage. However, as Cheshire Constabulary, and particularly the offending officer in my case, doesn't find it necessary to provide the entirety of evidence to either the people serving on his behalf as the prosecution or the defense, I'm a tad curious. But uh, I guess we'll find out when, if, uh, said things ever become available to us. It's just gonna be a waiting game for now, isn't it, Cheshire Constabulary? We'll find out. Well, everyone, they busted me. <clears throat> As you can clearly tell, I'm in Paluche custody. Real harsh, no water. They would only give me a fucking beer. The bastards. Now, the, uh, the, the court case has been adjourned, as we presumed it would be, uh, simply for the time that there was already a court case going on that was continuing, so they, they wouldn't have time for it no matter what. But also, as my solicitor has informed me, because the uh, Cheshire Constabulary and the Crown Prosecution haven't even begun their legally obligated duty of disclosure, disclosure of evidence uh, to the defence, uh, we, let's say, we, we just, we aren't ready for trial. It's not the fact that it's nothing to do with us. It's not the fact that we aren't ready for trial mentally, logistically, logically. Uh, my solicitor and I are very ready for this trial, believe me. With what little we do already have to work with, uh, we have... I don't want to say everybody because this involves personal people to me that I genuinely don't hold the grudge against. As far as the Paluche go, uh, we are absolutely ready to take these people to trial, stick them in the frying pan, throw a little butter in there, tan that ass, make it nice and brown, and then we feast. Uh, but of course, it's not been able to do today. I did have to, uh, I did uh, say to my solicitor, my proviso was going to be, uh, provided I can talk to the court openly, just so it's on the record, or that I expect the judge to be able to do anything about it. Uh, if I would plead uh, guilty to certain other offences. Uh, not that I'm saying I'm guilty, but I would simply not at all try and protest my innocence in any manner provided. Instead of us spending that time in court when I would be fighting for my innocence, I would instead use that to tell the court about what happened to me in the Cheshire branch of Guantanamo Bay. Uh, it didn't happen because they simply didn't have time for the case at all. The judge did allow me to speak very briefly. Uh, not, not because he told me to shut up or anything, just that I realised I didn't have a lot of time to spend, so I tried to be as respectful as I could. And uh, I, I, made, I did make the judge very aware. But, uh, effectively, I, I didn't want to do, I didn't want to put the, this stress of this whole court case on certain other people that are in my life. Like, I, uh, that, that's not who I am. It's, again, that's, I can't really talk about anything legally just for the fact that it's officially still an ongoing case. Uh, but they also that the uh, the, haha, the officer who uh, was so intimidated and harassed and afraid for his own life that that wasn't exactly what he said. He didn't use the full life bit, but claiming he was uh, alarmed, distressed, and intimidated uh, by language I'd use, called him an asshole. He called me an asshole. Then went on once he'd already removed all of my personal property. He then decided afterward to he would also have to remove my necklace, threatening to break it because of course he was in such distress such little distress weren't you blue jay uh, they then came to me because they've gotten a whiff of decency from me me saying listen my issue isn't with these other people that are trying to bring uh, allegations against me i'm willing to provided i can speak to the court about uh cheshire constabulary i'll plead guilty now let them other people just just walk away effectively just walk away they don't have to ever deal with this again it's fine it's fine for me uh the prosecution and the Paluche got a whiff of that and just thought, hey, <laughs> we can work something out here. And they decided it would be appropriate to instead offer me a change in charges from, uh, instead of causing PTSD to an officer, instead just try and charge me with using abusive language in public. Uh, and then I could plead guilty and all be done with today. And that was not for the fact that they wanted uh, me 
to have the pleasantries of all of this being over and done with. That was for the fact that the Paluchai officer, obviously, obviously, as he has done, deleting body cam footage, uh, refusing to hand over body cam footage, he simply doesn't want to be made a complete tit out of in court. Complete tit out of in court. And as I said to my solicitor, no, 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 no. <laughs> Didn't even have to think about it. I mean, I thought about it for a split second and then just... The righteousness within me just said, corrupt authority? I don't think so, mate. You're not going to allow yourself to weasel out of this thinking that I would happily accept a more pleasant life and the fact that I won't be living in a tent for however long, and for whatever the situation may be, just for the fact that he can then get away with what he's doing. You don't, you don't quite understand the logic that I'm coming with here. You aren't getting away with this, Cheshire Constabulary. You are never getting away with this. You may have been able to do this to other people, as you did whilst I was also detained. And whilst I know, since I have heard of the stories since, the horrific, the horrific crimes and breaches of basic human rights that you commit against the people that you're supposed to be protecting whilst they're in your idea of care. So I said to my solicitor, of course, no, 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 no. That's not going to be the way it works. I may do a favour to the people that are making allegations against me. Because I still love them. Of course I still love them. As you guys know, it's a family matter. I still absolutely love them. Don't want this to be the case. But I can. I can fuck my innocence. And I rightfully should. Uh, for Just for many different reasons. But... As far as the Paluche go, Cheshire Constabulary, I've chased you down so far that you have literally thrown yourself into the mud. You have broken countless laws. You didn't even have to break. One of your officers did. You could have just thrown him to the walls, this guy right here, and just let that be the sacrifice and retain your integrity. You chose not to do that. You chose not to do that. And yet you are, you are being paid with public taxpayer money to do these things, to commit the crimes that you think it's okay to do against myself and against I cannot even imagine how many other people you have done these things against and you've done it wrong again, you want to see a broken law and drink on the public park again, it's been a rough day don't judge, don't judge which as you can stabulary laws mean nothing to you People mean nothing to you. Basic human rights mean nothing to you. And as what I like to think, a good guy, and especially a man of the Lord, if you think I'm going to let corrupt authority assist in this world, you've run so far, Cheshire Constabulary. You've run so far. But believe me, I'm still hot on your tail. I'm having a break today since the court day. Believe me, you know who's coming for you. And trust me, there's going to be a fucking army beside me. Even if it's just in spirit, there's going to be a fucking army beside me. I would love to see the little suit that that police officer turned up in. I would love to see his little suit. I would love to see that. This is called swagger, motherfucker. This is called swagger. Friends, God bless, as always. God bless every one of you. I need to trim my nose up. Yeah, I'm homeless, fuck you. I'm allowed to look a little rough around the edges. <laughs> so the court date is adjourned. I have something else I need to think about. As I said, I made it very clear to the judge uh, that I did have the intention of saving certain other people in my life the stress of having to go through this. But uh, provided I could talk about the corruption within Cheshire Constabulary, Unfortunately, that wasn't able to be done today. But I did make it very clear to the judge, or the judges, actually, that that was the case. They were very respectful to me, very respectful, especially in my situation living in the tents. And uh, I, I believe they actually would have heard me out, uh, should they have had the time. And should I have kept it concise, I guess, as well. I never know when to end these videos. <laughs> I'm a tad verbose. I don't talk a lot, but I'm a tad verbose. <laughs> So I am going to enjoy the rest of my day and I'll have a while longer that I will be living in the tent. Uh, which is also a while longer that I can just let Cheshire Constabulary stew in the frying pan. Because believe me, I, I know I'm going to keep on pursuing them. They know I'm going to keep on pursuing them. 
which just gives them more and more opportunity to break more laws, stick their head further up their ass, just to try and cover for it. But of course, hey, I mean, I don't know, maybe they're not covering for anything. They never submitted even the basic list of body cam footage or of evidence that they are legally supposed to disclose. Because Cheshire Constabulary love law and order, especially the law. They love themselves that law. You are entitled to refreshments, plural, between meals, plural.